Hello YouTube reseller mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday the 23rd and I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about first and then I'm going to share you with you my Bartels haul from this morning. Oh boy. So first things first, I want to give a big thank you shout out to everybody out there that is a subscriber to my channel. I hit this morning 4,000 subscribers, which is a milestone for me. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you guys out there. Even if you don't comment or whatnot, I still want to thank you for watching and sharing my journey with you. Uh, it's, it's a big journey for me and I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. That's what it's all about, right? Reaching out there and finding others that are doing similar things and sharing that. So I've enjoyed meeting everybody at all the different meetups that I have been to over the years. All of the Instagram friends that I have made for sure and anybody and everybody that watches me and of course anybody that comments I do read every single comment. I love them all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, for those that have made video requests, I haven't forgotten about them. <laughs> I have a little list of videos that are in the works. Just as you know, my last two months has been um, very chaotic and kind of my whole life has been turned upside down. So I will get to that. The next thing that I just want to say is I'm back in the, in the Pacific Northwest. I'm back in the Seattle area. So I am out of Vegas. Oh, it was, it was rough. It was a rough two months in Vegas with my dad passing and I came home. My office was filled with deliveries, returns, everything like that. Callbacks from inventory. Pretty much anytime I got a package in the last two months, my family has just stuck it in my office. So yesterday I spent the entire day going through and opening everything up and sorting out into piles. I have a pile next to me that's all online arbitrage that came in because I didn't get the address switched out in my account and I had one or two, it looks like two, uh, accidentally get delivered to this address opposed to my parents' house. And then I have three laundry baskets full of stuff to deal with. And we all have those piles, whether you call them a death pile, profit pile, to-do pile, junk pile, whatever. And half the time I wanna just take those piles and go straight to Value Village and dump it there. And the other half wants me to try and make back as much capital and process it and so anyhow, it's in three laundry, three big laundry baskets. And I just wanted to share with you some, one of the items as an example. I have these Hanukkah candles that I sold on Amazon, got them at the uh, grocery store for about two bucks. We're selling them for $12.99, $14.99. Did pretty good, but this is a return. And some of them were broken. It's obviously been opened. I don't know what's going on, but I have now three laundry baskets full of junk like this. So my goal, is in the next couple of weeks to go through that stuff and quickly, this, that's the key, is to not mull it over and waste your time because your time is valuable, right? Quickly go through and either throw it in my garage sale box, my donation box, my list on eBay box, or um, go right back to Amazon. So if things come back in pristine condition and you can tell that you know it wasn't even opened, then it can go right back to Amazon. If it looks scuffed up or manipulated in any sort of way, I put it over on my eBay store, which I have signed up for Vendu as of two days ago. Vendu will cross post over to Macari and Poshmark. So I'm getting that set up too, since I have all this junk. And then uh, I have garage sale boxes. And then if it's not really worth a garage sale box, then I put it in the box to go to Value Village. So I work with candles. I do um, some candle making. So I could probably use this wax or I could maybe make I don't know, a dollar at the garage sale with an item like this. This is obviously not something that I think is, it certainly can't go back to Amazon, but I don't think it's really worthy of an eBay listing as well. It's not really worth the time. So I hope you guys are all going through your stuff like that. If you have any tips for everybody out there on any other ways you can make money off of stuff or group things together, I always love seeing those. I'm a big fanatic of not having your junk go into the landfill of trying to at least get back your capital invested before you totally cut your losses. Okay, I wanted to go through two things that I bought that were delivered that I found yesterday. I got my Scotty peelers in. I usually use my nails, which they get peed up so bad, but I officially got two Scotty peelers. I'm excited to use those. And then I got an extra charging cable for my KDC 200i, which is my scanner I use at the store. You can only get these proprietary flipping cables. I got this on eBay for like 10 bucks. 
but it's worth getting an extra cable if you use and rely on equipment like that, right? Okay, the next thing I've been doing is going through and organizing my paperwork because I came back with mounds of paperwork from Las Vegas. This is all the receipts while I was gone in Vegas for two months. And some people kept calling it my vacation to Las Vegas. And I'm going, honey, I worked. I worked my tail off. I'm exhausted. Um, going through the death of a loved one and fixing all their accounts is not a vacation at all. And I worked. Look at all my receipts. This is everything from December and January, just December and January. So I was not sitting around by any means um, lollygagging. Okay, with all of that stuff that I opened up yesterday, these little slips of paper that come in your returns are good to keep. I have put all those slips with the items so that when I go through, I can kind of see, okay, why was this return? These are the Hanukkah candles. They were returned to me because they were damaged. I can say, oh yes, clearly they, they, they were damaged and then make a decision. But sometimes you will get other types of returns. And anyhow, I keep these slips of paper and I also put them in my file folder. This is all December and January. Uh, let's see if we can. So eBay, receipts, bills, paperwork, junk. So I take these little slips of paper, stick them in there. And then if I ever need records, I've got them and they will be listed up. So I'm trying to get that all prepared along with taxes. I hate taxes. <laughs> I'm trying to love taxes. I have to do goals. I'll be working on this week forecasting. I'm redoing all my financial stuff just to the profit first way to the nth degree. I've kind of been in that system, but I need to get in it fully. I have an appointment with the bank on Saturday to set up all those extra banking accounts and I need to do budget stuff. So these are all things that I highly dislike doing, but they are a part of business. So I need to find a way to enjoy them. Not sure what that way will be because it's absolutely torturous <laughs> for me to work on budget stuff. I really don't like it, um, but I'm going to try and find a way to like it. Okay. The other thing that I, I have is I have a file folder that I keep all these little things in. As you do retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, all that stuff, you get stuff in the mail. So I have magazines and you know, you get like a 10% off here or 20% off there. So I have a folder that I keep all my coupons in just to keep the office tidy. Otherwise that stuff would be everywhere and chaotic. All right, let's get into the haul video. Enough chitter chatter about junk that's not fun. Let's talk about fun stuff. This morning, unplanned, I went to Bartels and I had to get some drugs. Um, I'm going to get an MRI. My shoulder's bothering me just medical wise. And I also have had uh, a hard time dealing with my dad's death. So I'm going to go on to an antidepressant. And I want to be open and honest with that because I think it's something that we need to practice being more open and honest with. If I hurt my shoulder like I did, I would have no problem telling people that I'm going in for an MRI and that I hurt my shoulder and da da da. But if you hurt your heart or your head, um, the stigmatism with those types of injuries, we need to get over it. And so that's my, that's my little umph for me to try and be more open with that type of stuff to try and kill some of those stigmatisms. So I'm telling you that just so that if you're out there and you have uh, anxiety, depression, you're not alone. You're not alone. So I went and got some drugs this morning, which was probably good for me because I've been teetering. Let's see here. Yesterday I broke down crying four times while I'm packing. Um, it just, it, it, it's grief and, and whatnot. So getting help, that's the key. We can all have problems, but if you don't get help for your problems, that's when, that's when things can get really bad. Okay, so I was getting my drugs and I found... 45 items. I spent $134 and almost all of it is for reselling. So I wrote down some notes. Let me position the camera and let's see what I got. Forgot to share this. This is all my tags that I detagged in Las Vegas. And after I got done with one shopping trip, all those tags went into a little cheap bag. It's just the Walmart bread bags. And then all those bags went into this bag. And if I need to track down a tag, I can. It's somewhat organized. It's not super organized because once the stuff goes out, I really don't have a need to keep the tag. But if I'm uh, boxing stuff up and I find a stain or a rip or whatnot, then I can go ahead and reattach the tag and return it to get my money back. It, you know, these guys are like 
350 for a hundred of them so they're not very expensive you get these at walmart they come in handy for lots of organization things like that to keep keep straightened out okay first up frozen two lip smackers oh aren't these fun these will be great for valentine's day birthday parties coming up summertime fun and easter the let's hear these ones i make 612 in profit these ones i make 422 in profit they were each 524 piece they're one of the higher end things i bought today but well worth it lip smackers are great same with chapsticks i have been learning chapstick flavors and which ones are desirable and which ones are flooded and uh, i'm not going to give you give away what i've learned but that is something you should be keeping an eye out as well for i think i bought some halloween flavored ones right after the halloween and they sold fast very very fast now if you are looking to get ungated because i believe these ones were these could either go under toys health or beauty categories if they're under toys there is a chance that they could get recategorized into a health or beauty and if you are gated in those and want to become ungated i have heard through the grapevine that lotus lights beauty wholesale type that in into uh, into google lotus lights beauty wholesale you can get products there and those invoices will work now that's not a guarantee that is not a hey i've tried it that's just a hey i heard that that would work and you are welcome to try it out but you will take all risks upon yourself because i can only tell you what i hear from other people and what i experience myself and i try to be upfront with which ones i have firsthand experience with and which ones i don't so lotus lights is a good way to get ungated somebody had also mentioned that dollar days they had had success with dollar days getting ungated with items there i don't know how that how that would work but that's the rumor the other rumor i heard on um, message boards and stuff this week was under armor is pretty open right now so if you have an under armor application or are looking to get ungated in under armor go ahead and try that application i hear it's it's uh opening up a little bit so give it a whirl next up nancy pearl librarian this is a toy item these are great there has been several over the years my favorite is marie antoinette whose head falls off it's great uh she was a dollar 50 i don't know why she was in with the christmas clearance but that's where she was these guys were a dollar 50 i got three of them and there was two listings one for 11.99 and one for 32.54 Obviously, I'm going to want the $11.99. I don't know who's paying $32 for her. Uh, you know, some people just put in high and then let their repricer reprice down. So if you see those two types of prices, you'll want to make sure that the lower one is the profitable one. And with the $11.99, I will make $5.44 on each librarian, which means $15 in library profit. How fun is that? Okay. This guy. z -list the list i'm not going to pronounce it right because i'm terrible at that that's why i couldn't go into teaching because i can't pronounce anybody's names this guy was four dollars there is nobody in fba sixty-one thousand rank and seven dollars and 51 profit so this this one alone makes me want to go to the other stores and kind of see if this is on clearance across all the bartels it's kind of up to the manager for bartels we only have about five bartels in the pacific northwest area and it's up to the manager how they do their clearance and they're all kind of a little different i've tried going you know to all of them in one day and found kind of you know everybody was on on different schedules and different things and had different things but the brand is really good uh the smooth glide course grader was profitable and also the easy clean whisk which i do like this whisk with the opening down there these were three dollars four dollars and 41 uh, profit fifty three thousand in rank amazon was on it though but because it was fifty three thousand in rank and the profit was four dollars so that's four eight twelve dollars in profit just in whisks um i went ahead and went on it you know amazon's okay with sharing i don't have a problem usually with sharing with them am i going to go in deep on a product no but uh you know a couple here a couple of there i don't have a problem with it all right these guys I'm trying to understand what the magic of this Santa sleeve is. I don't quite get it. Set up your scene. Oh, okay. 
We're probably not going to talk about this because some of us have small kids, but you can look it up yourself a uh, different time. But these were dollar a piece and the profit's going to be $9.87 a piece. Now, I know it's not the right real time to go ahead and sell them. You can either hold on to them since it is a very Q4 type of item, or you can go ahead and send them in. I have sold things year round for every season out there. I had gotten in Vegas right after Christmas. Oh, what is the St. Patrick's Day bibs? And they sold like the first week of January. And I was thinking it was too early to buy St. Patrick's Day stuff, but maybe people are because it's baby stuff. And I don't know. I've had Christmas stuff sell in April and I've had Easter stuff sell during Christmas and I've had Halloween stuff sell in February. And, you know, that's my take on it. I just go ahead and send it in, but you can do what you want. I got three bottles. Aladdin is great. You do have to get ungated. It was an automatic ungate for me at some point. And let's see here, Liberty Body Works. These were all beautiful bottles. I do make sure that all the parts, if there's any parts are there. They were $5.75, $6.25, and $5. I didn't write down the profits, but one was $10, $15, and $12. So I'm going to make over $30 just in bottles. And these guys, this is, if you're just getting into Amazon, this is what you want to look for. You want to look for kitchen, office, toys, books, all of those categories that are going to be pretty easy peasy um, to obtain and not have any, you know, there's not really a whole lot of issues going along with them. Clothes, you get a, a little bit more returns going on. Some of the beauty products you have. You have to do some extra sealing and packaging and everything. So if you're looking to start Amazon, start with the easy stuff. So bottles are easy. Kitchen stuff is easy. Librarian toys are easy. And good things to kind of start going and starting your business off with. Okay, now this Christmas tree stand. Let's see if I move those bottles over. There we go. You can see it. Christmas tree stands. Christmas tree bags, anything that's 90% off Christmas wise, I go ahead and scan it. And, and if it makes sense, I will get it. People are starting to do trees for different events. And then there's Christmas in July. So tree stands, I will always go ahead and get if the numbers are good. This one was $5, six twelve dollars in profits. It is a little bit heavy. There is nobody for FBA. So I could actually jack the price up a little bit because I went with just the lowest merchant fulfilled and if there's nobody on FBA you can usually add uh, two to five dollars more and somebody will get it just because it is Amazon Prime and I love Christmas tree stands. Now I was talking to my friend Marcy last night and we think you should just be able to keep your tree up year round and then just decorate it for the seasons. That needs to be a new movement. Who's with me on that? Because then you could just leave your tree up then you could have an Easter tree or a summer tree or a fall tree and just decorate it. And then you don't have to put it up and down for Christmas. Anyhow, that's, that's, that's my great idea for the day. I don't know if I'm going to get that idea going, but I like it. These guys were $5. The rank was a little bit high, but the profits were 6 $7, so it was just over 100%. They're portable battery chargers. Now, $5 for a portable battery charger is pretty good, and I'm tempted to keep these for myself because I seem to always need battery chargers, not necessarily for me, but for my freaking kids. So we'll see. I'm going to ask the family tonight at dinner if anybody needs a battery charger, and if they don't, then um, I will go ahead and just sell it. Okay, socks. These guys were $2.50. They're Chris, Christmas winter theme. They're like ice cream socks, I think. Let's see here. Does it have a... No, it doesn't really say. Okay, so Socket to me is pretty good. I like that brand. $2.50. I make $3.57. 55000 rank. Amazon is on this one. So I did check, of course, for every single one that I, I've showed you here. I've checked for restrictions and stuff. Anything with restrictions, I did not get hopefully <laughs> I remember checking everything sometimes I miss things but socket to me is a really good thing or good brand sometimes I see them at Ross Marshall's TJ Maxx etc I have tried every sock people at 
ASD to try and get a wholesale account for them. And all of them have said no because they're already on Amazon. So, you know, it is what it is. The only time I can get these is when I find them on clearance. And I like that. I like Stance. And, of course, all the other name brands, Calvin Klein, Tommy Bahama, things like that. So just kind of look around. Socks are pretty good. If you're getting into clothing, I, I suggest starting with socks because they're pretty easy to fold. You don't get a whole lot of returns, etc. So these ones, uh, I just moved my paper. $2.50 again, $4.42 in profit, 146 in rank, and Amazon is in it. So I'm going to say that the, the rank is high because Christmas is over. And these are definitely Christmas type of socks. So another one of those products, you'll have to decide whether you want to keep it for a minute or go ahead and turn it in. I just turn things in because I see that they sell. Uh, but there's nothing wrong if you want to hold on to it. I just, I got no space. My garage is toast. We're going to get rid of my storage unit and sell stuff in there and or downsize or whatnot because I'm paying $240 a month for my storage unit. It's just not worth it. And it's a pain in the butt and my stupid door broke and now they don't want to fix it and there's drama drama at the storage unit okay gonna move on these guys i got for 87 cents a bag now they do expire two of 220 so i can't sell them however when i'm out shopping and i see things like this for 87 cents i go ahead and grab them and then i have a spot in my pantry out in the garage for things like this to either go out to um, I have a little table out for my delivery people that I keep stocked up with water and candy and treats. I did that for Q4. I think I'm going to just continue because I still have a lot of candy and stuff that didn't get out there because I don't know why my husband and, and son didn't do it, but they had a million other things going on too. Anyhow, I'm going to continue on with it. The other thing is every once in a while my kid needs to bring something to a club or study group or whatnot. And so these types of um, grab and go packs are great and I'm, I'm kind of interested in eating this I have not tried this one peanuts and pretzels but that sounds really delicious to me so trying trying not to eat the stuff that's out there honestly but every once in a while I need a little little candy fix and then I got a bag of Hershey miniatures to go out on the table as well so I got that all fixed up this morning for them and then my daughter's favorite favorite is the hazelnut spread and these were 75 cents off so it was I think 12 cents or 15 cents for a pack of these so I wound up getting her a little treat while I was at the store there and that is all I have to show you guys it was $134 my estimated profits are probably around I'm gonna say right around the 150 and that was completely unexpected because I just went in there this morning to grab my prescription and then I was going to come home and deal with my boxes of online arbitrage stuff and my three laundry bins of Amazon returns and stuff. So a little unexpected finds. And the other thing that I love about Bartels is there's no sticker removal. Zero sticker removal. I don't have to photograph any of the UPCs because the UPCs are on the receipts. So it is extremely easy to go ahead and add these to a buy list with Inventory Lab, import it, print out the stickers, box and go. That's another another reason why I lean towards yes on some of these items that might, you know, be wishy-washy. One, they're always in pristine condition, so I never have any quality problems like you do maybe at Ross or Marshalls where things look a little beat up sometimes. And there's no sticker removal or additional... Um, labor going into the items and it's uh usually really easy stuff i love it the other thing i love about bartels it's a local area store to me and so i know the competition is not going to be out there i don't have a problem sharing it with you guys because there's probably no other you know this is a one-time deal here and unlike target and walmart where you know i see some of the other people doing haul videos and that's great but just be aware that they're one of like a hundred people doing that. And so you have quite a bit of competition. So the mentality going into a Walmart is different than my mentality going into a Bartels. Going into a Walmart, I want to make sure the rank is uh, amazing. The margins are amazing and all the conditions are really, really good. Going into Bartels, I know that I'm not going to have much competition on 
on some of these items because it's not clearancing out like it does on the Walmarts and Targets. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome January. My sales have been pretty good for January. I'm gearing up. The slow season is February, March, April for me usually. So I'm trying to offset that by doing a little bit more candy and some more Easter and spring seasonally stuff that's good for the spring. And then, yeah, I've got to crack down and spend some time dealing with my books and the CPA and taxes, which are not fun things. So any tips, suggestions, ideas you all have to make any of that less painful, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, take care.